Hey everybody, this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim and welcome back. This is episode 3 of our series on the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Praise God that He's still moving and He's moving today more than ever before. And He wants to continue to move through you and through the End Times Church. I pray that the first two episodes bless you as we're building a foundation on the first few chapters with the book of Acts. Because I believe it's time for the acts of God to be demonstrated again. Today on episode 3, I want to talk about Matthias or justice. I want to talk about the right selection of God's people. Because many times warfare happens around people. Let's go into the word of God here. Acts chapter 1. Verses 20 and on. Acts chapter 1, verses 20 and on. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May his camp be desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in it, and let another take his office. I want you to repeat that. Let another take his office. I believe it's time for the Vashtis to be replaced with Esther. It's time for the Hamans to be replaced with Mordecai. There is a divine reversal and there is a turnaround and God is flipping the tables in this season. Let another take his office. This has to do with replacement. This has to do with divine replacement or placement by God. So verse 21, so one of the men who accompanied us during all that time, the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning with the baptism of John until the day he was taken up from us. One of these men must become a witness of his resurrection. And they put forward two, Joseph called Barsabas, who was also called Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, you Lord, you know the hearts of all. So show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas turned aside to go to his own place. And they cast lots for them, and the lot fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with the 11 apostles. Are you ready for the lot to fall upon you? Are you ready for the favor of God to fall upon you? Are you ready for God to choose you? Are you ready for the divine selection, for the divine election? Are you ready for God to elect you and to bring you in to his team? How many of you have sat on the sidelines for so long? You've been wondering. You've been a pew sitter. You've been wondering and asking God, when is it my time? When is it my season? When am I going to have the opportunity to play in the game? I want to get my hands dirty, Lord. I want to get some mud on my face. A big disgrace. We will. And you're saying, God, I've been sitting on the sidelines. I've been serving. I've been sowing. I've been praying. I've been fasting. But when is it my time to shine? And God says, are you ready for the lot of favor to fall upon you? You see, I'm talking about Matthias or justice or this topic of divine selection because God selected Matthias over justice. Now, is this evil of God or is this the justice of God? There's a saying that says favor ain't fair. There's a saying that says favor is not fair. And God had to select only one person to fill this role. Sometimes we feel left out. Sometimes we feel like if I'm not chosen or if I'm not invited to the party, if I'm not a part of this club or this cool kids club, then I feel left out. But let me tell you, that is not rejection. That is redirection. And you find promotion in rejection or you find promotion in a closed door. This is a season where God will open up the right doors in your life, the right partnerships, and connect you with the right people. However, this is so important because the remaining 11 apostles knew that they needed the 12th final apostle. And of course, the lot fell upon Matthias. Some scholars believe that all the Matthias had the position. It was actually Apostle Paul that was the 12th foundational apostle. 
You see, the only prerequisite for the apostle to be chosen and to fill the place of Judas was that they had to be there from the baptism of water with John the Baptist all the way up three and a half years later to the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus. That was the prerequisite. You had to be an eyewitness. You had to be there the whole time. You had to be there from the baptism of Jesus, the beginning of Jesus' ministry to, in a sense, to secession or the end of his earthly ministry. And there were different choices, but there were two choices, Justice or Matthias. Let me ask you, do you go right or do you go left? Is it yes or is it no? Do you choose this person or do you choose this person? Life is about decisions. Life is a decision-making game. It is like a chess match where you are slowly moving your bishop, your horse, your king, your queen, your pawn, you are slowly moving the pieces towards victory. Life is a chess match. And I believe God wants to check, checkmate the enemy in your life, in Jesus' name. I'm sharing all of this because before the promise came, hear me now, before the promise of the Holy Ghost came, they needed the last piece. They needed the last 12th apostle. They needed to fulfill. They needed the finishing piece. They needed the 12th apostle to come into place. And too many times we rush. We are in the flesh. We think we're doing what's right. We think we do, we're doing what's smart. And we begin to choose the wrong people. People of God, you need to come into the spirit of agreement. You need to wait on God. Let God divinely orchestrate. Let God divinely appoint. Let everybody come in agreement together. And the word of God will be clear. Is it Matthias or is it Justice? Do I go here or do I go there? Do I go or do I stay? Is it left or is it right? Is it right or is it left? Is it blue or is it red? Where do I go from here? I want to be on the side of the Lord. But before the promise of the Holy Ghost fell, they needed the 12th apostle. They needed that position to be filled. Come on, somebody. You're asking God, fill this position. Fill this role. I need help in this area of my life. God is saying, I will give it to you. God is saying, I will fill it. If you open wide your mouth, then I will fill it. Draw near to me and I will draw near to you, says God. And you're asking and you're waiting. Who is that person? Who am I going to marry? Where is my spouse? Where is my next breakthrough? And God is saying, I'm going to release it to you in the name of Yeshua. Before the promise came, the last piece needed to come into play. Who's ready for the missing piece to come into your life? I declare over you, every missing piece, every lost item will come back into your life in Jesus' name. I prophesy to you that you are the missing piece. You are the needed piece to the puzzle. And was it Matthias or was it Justice? Now, this can be such a difficult thing to swallow or to believe. Why could God choose one person over another? How can God choose one person over another? Please don't take this personal. It's not about you, but it's about God's sovereign purpose and plan. There's times we think God is unjust. There's times we're angry, we're bitter with God. Oh, Lord, why didn't this happen? Why, why does this have to happen? Why did it go my way or the way that I thought? And there's times that we think God is not just or injustice was done to us. But we need to trust His plan, trust His promise, and trust His process. Because if you're not chosen or selected or elected, God has something else for you. In fact, God has something much better. It may not be the right time. It may not be the right people, the right process, the right job. So just trust in the Lord. Matthias or Justice. As they cast lots, the lot fell on Matthias. That word Matthias in the Hebrew means gift of God. 
Matthias. In fact, it's the same root word as Matteo or Matthew, which means gift and bearer of God, the gift and the bearer of light. I believe God wants to give us gifts. He wants to give us Matthias's. Let me ask you, are you a gift to somebody or are you a burden? Do you want somebody who is a gift, is a blessing? Or do you want somebody in your life that is a burden with constant nagging, agitation and frustration in the spirit? You want somebody who is a gift and can flow with you, can be in unity, can fulfill the tasks can fulfill the assignments of God together as a corporate body. Who am I talking to today? Before the promise came, hear me now, before the great increase comes, before the harvest comes, before the financial miracles come, there needs to be certain things that has to be done and put in place and order before that happens. I know many of you are waiting for the increase. You're asking God, why am I not being blessed in these areas? Why this, is this not happening? It might be because you still are missing that piece that's needed to build a foundation. Otherwise, if you have a vacancy, then Jezebel can come in. But if that place, position, role is filled with the right people, with the right spirit, then God will continue to build precept upon precept, level upon level, line upon line. Is it Matthias or is it justice? In this game of decision making, in this life of people where there can be so much difficulty in warfare concerning people, I believe God wants you to have the right sound mind to make the right decisions on who to allow into your inner circle and who to bring into your life. Is it Matthias or is it justice? Is it yes, is it no? Do I go forward, do I stay? Is it left, is it right? They cast lots and another will take his office. Let me guarantee you right now, I guarantee you, that another will take his office. Another will take. God has removed Vashtis. God has removed certain false presidents. God will remove corrupt political voices. He will remove so that he can fill with the righteousness. So that he can fill with the right people. I want to pray for you now. That the Lord will bring in the missing pieces. The lost items. And that you will bring in the right people. And that God will anoint your mind to make the right decisions. Is it yea? Is it nay? Is it left? Is it right? Is it forward? Is it stay? Lord, I thank you for our friends today. That you will not leave them in the dark. You will not leave them questioning, constantly meandering in the wilderness like a vagabond. But you will give them answers and clarity. God, I ask you, give them breakthrough. Give them signs, confirmations of what they are to do. May you choose wisely with the appointment and the anointing of God. Is it Matthias? Is it justice? Is it a gift of God? Or is it possibly a snare of the devil? May we see and may we know and may you be alert and aware. Because God is bringing it the missing products, the missing items, and he is bringing in the missing pieces into your life. Lord, I pray, fulfill the foundation. There had to be 12 apostles, 12 which stands for kingdom, government, authority. 12 tribes, 12 disciples, 12 months, 12 gates. There had to be 12. And Lord, I thank you for the governmental grace and authority before we move on to the next thing. Bless your people today in Jesus' name. Let me know how this word blessed you. And I believe that God is bringing in the right pieces and he is removing the wrong 
Is it Matthias or is it justice? Let me know if this word blessed you. And until next time, God bless you. Thanks for watching. Acts of the Holy Spirit. And this episode, as we're talking about decision-making and Matthias or justice. God bless.